Jericho 941 by IWI. Welcome back to Liberty Marksman. He's Scott. I'm Ken, and today we're talking about the IWI Jericho 941. It is a double action, single action, hammer fired polymer pistol. They are produced by IWI since 1990. It's a CZ copy, give or take. It's available in polymer like this one, but you can also get it in steel. This one is a 9mm. You can also get them in 40 Smith & Wesson. 45 ACP and a little known cartridge of 41 Action Express. Polygon rifling, some people say it's better velocity, some claim it's better accuracy because you get less bullet. Glock uses it on their larger frames. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, it's got a 4.4 inch barrel, its overall length is 8.2 inches, and its width is roughly 1.5 inches. It's got a capacity in 9mm of 16. In the magazine, one in the chamber. Yeah. Want to break it down? How about we get a weight on the bitch first? All right, let's do that. I'm missing a turn. Oh, there you are. Weight mag. with the magazine. Ooh, pig. 30.80 ounces. Wow, well, that's pretty heavy for a... Uh, polymer. <laughs> polymer. Because you really don't... You really don't get that, right? No. It, they do feel a bit top-heavy. Yeah. Right? I mean, all your weight is on the top. And the what's kind of funny about these are, I like this easy, it's got this half slide, which let's bring in close and we'll show you that. Okay, what we're talking about a half slide is only this very top section, and they don't give you a whole lot of grip space up here. So you find yourself grabbing a whole lot more of it than you, you than you would think you would. This is the only different part. This would probably be one of the complaints to me is not having enough grip to actually rack this thing. But once you get used to it, you know, again, it's another one of those things. It's just getting a flavor for it. Let's get some trigger pulls. Five point eight. Five point one three. Five pounds thirteen ounces. Yeah, I guess you know what I mean. pounds 11 ounces so you're averaging a five and a half pound trigger now because this is single and double action we will do a double action pull do you think it's gonna be eight something I don't know this uh, wow that's the first time I've ever seen it go over <laughs> All right, one more time. I've never seen that before. I have never seen that either. Okay, let's try that again. Make sure we're ready. Wow. Oh, that heavy. Pounds. Four point five ounces. Now, wow. I never would have thought that. The in double action that the trigger pull was that heavy. No. It, in, it truly... I mean in, in single. It truly does not feel like you're pulling 11 pounds with no. that. I, 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 you know... In, in single action... Maybe it, it's because it's the length of pull that you throws it off, but I guess maybe. In, in single action, it even feels lighter than 5.5 pounds. Yeah. Basically, like everything else, dump the mag. 
cock the hammer on right here you're going to see two dots whoa don't laze me bro as you line those up on the other side you're going to have your push pin so I'm going to line those up are you covering the muzzle with your hand now I'm doing this lefty it's always a smart ass in the crowd and then there we go that's your breakdown take a little further take out our buffer spring take out our barrel now here is where we're going to talk about that that rifling the polygonal rifling and try to light that up just a little bit for you there aren't real true sharp edged lands and grooves it's done more on like an ellipse where at the end of the barrel actually kind of represents an octagon or a polygon and they're like they're, they're basically smooth grooves cut into it it's almost like a polished finish and then of course reassembly is pretty much just as easy we're going to slide that back through this is one of those typical spots where to get it there you gotta cock it you're going to line up your line up your dots and put your pin back in. Of course, I'm doing this backwards, upside down, and lefty. So there you go. All good. Okay, so your first impressions on the uh, Jericho? I like it. Do you? Yeah. Honestly, the, the grip, the, the angle of the grip, the way it's bobbed out in the back here, and the finger grips, I mean, it just feels fantastic in the hand. Yeah. I mean, right out the chute, I, for, I figured I was going to like it. For a polymer lower on this thing, it, it is a solid feel, but if you're looking for something with a lot of stippling, it's not here. This is It's really a relatively smooth finish. Yeah, but it doesn't feel like it's going to jump out but, of your hand, not even once, because of how deep the grooves are for your fingers. Yeah, the finger grooves really help keep that thing in place where, where you need it. And uh, it's a great pointer. They've been generous with their sights. I'm going to bring you in on those because I didn't get a chance to. The pretty damn good. Sights they're, are they're like a three-dot They're like a three-dot Novak or a big-dot type setup. There we go. They're not bad. Not at all. The nice thing about being a CZ clone is it'll run the CZ magazines. So There's a bonus. For, for what it's worth. There's a bonus. Um, being the type of rifling that the barrel is, we had some issues with one type of ammo. Yes. And that were those, those um, lead polymer coated. Polymer coated. Well, the brand name is Eggleston's. They, it just does not like Eggleston's. And we'll roll in some clips of that. Whatsoever. This is the Jericho 941 by IWI. And we do a lot of a lot of reloading to kind of keep the cost out on uh, ammo. And we use a polymer coated lead bullet. And it seems that uh, the Jericho doesn't like them. Let's see if we can replicate what's been happening. It's got a fresh mag in it. There's a failure to feed right off the bat. And another one. So now we'll put these same polymer bullets and try them in the Beretta M9. Well, just so you don't go, oh, you got a bad reload job. No, well, the Beretta will run them all day long. Not a reloading problem. Okay, for all the naysayers out there, this uh, it's probably not a reloading issue because here are some other... I just did that. There's some berries. We're going to run those through the Jericho. And I bet with that ball nose on it, we don't have any feed issues. Until we do. <laughs> okay, so... We've had that issue with the IWI, and we wanted we wanted to show you 
Uh, we couldn't show you at the range, and it happened to us two other times. But this is another perfect example of being safe, obviously, because the failure to uh, load wasn't necessarily the ball nose reloads, but it's actually a squib. There it is. Now what ended up happening is is that didn't actually that round never actually fired off. It pulled the projectile out when I racked it. So it's failure to chamber cocks that Eggleston in there and you pull back and it extracts the actual casing off of the reload. Yeah, and you really gotta hammer that slide back. You gotta again. hammer it back. That one's got to go to the bench. Solved that problem by uh, taking the tripod apart, using the actual uh, locking lever, dropping that, uh, that little one out of there. So let's try this IWI one more time. It does come with a small section of rail on the bottom for laser light, laser light combo, uh, light, whatever you want to go with. Mm -hmm. Laser light, laser light combo. Yeah. Yeah, maybe a whatever dildo vibrator combination. Yeah. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, it. But beyond that, it the thing ran flawlessly. Yeah, yeah. This one, this one's been around a little bit. We've gotten uh, quite. A, Quite a, bit, quite a bit of shooting on this thing actually and it's been tried and true it's a workhorse uh, very reliable yeah we've been with the right ammo shoot, and <laughs> shooting it off and on for a year yeah easily yeah and um it, God, it's, it's a, a it's a keeper yep it's a keeper my, my only dislike and you seem to have the same dislike is just that slide yeah the, just for racking it's just awfully thin but uh beyond that um it's good. The in in double action, it sucks ass. Not gonna I'll, lie. I'll give you that. Yeah. I, but yeah. accuracy rise, you know, the mags drop freely, which is great. Yep. Um, it's just a good little pistol, man. And for the price, can't really beat it. What you're yep. getting. The they, finish. I would I would love to try the steel version. Yeah. I mean, this thing's a pig as it is in polymer for weight, but the steel version would probably clean up that little bit of s typical polymer lower spongy trigger yeah. right that spring pins in plastic feel yeah it does actually have you know when you're, when you're in single action that trigger pull is actually pretty smooth for a polymer lower yeah I don't, I don't know if you can tell or hear by the sound but it's it's a very positive it's not spongy it's not it's no. really not that way. It's nope. double action. You come to a wall. It's stiffer, and then it should break. It's completely different in double action from single action. It's 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 two it's like two different two different triggers completely, mm -hmm. which would make sense. Like I said, besides the ammo issue, um, and that was only that one kind of ran ball ammo just fine. Um, get out and shoot one of these damn things. This thing is awesome. Yeah, they are. So that's the IWI Jericho 941. If you get the opportunity, get out and shoot this damn thing. If you have any comments, make sure to leave them below. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And remember, don't take liberty for granted. See you See around. He's running the Jericho. I bet you feel pretty good about that. Wasn't bad. I'm gonna run another magazine through this Jericho.
try this thing out in um, in uh, double action. Try that in double action. It's uh. Well, whenever you have that, try to go for double action. You know the pull is way harder. But this one doesn't. It's not so hard that it's throwing you off your mark, so that's good. Otherwise, I feel like this thing goes in pretty well when you got the right ammo. I thought he was going to play a tune there for a minute. <laughs>